hey guys so this video has been highly requested it is going to be looking at a huge trading mistake that i made recently which ended up costing me a significant portion of my account uh, before i get into it guys i will be coming out with more videos like this one including trading tutorials and stock picks each week so if you wish to see more videos like this one please hit the subscribe button and keep watching so in the past two months, I've actually done really, really well with trading. Uh, since March, I've been able to make a profit of over $4,200. So I've done exceptionally well lately, of which I'm very grateful for. But unfortunately, that all changed when I got a little bit too overconfident and made a very commonly made mistake, which was to bet with a big amount and overlook the signs of a trade reversal. So what happened was I placed a big bet on Tivix. So I bought 46 shares at $260 a share. And as you know, it was earnings week this week. And I expected for many of the big name brands and the big stocks to be coming out, to become coming in at a loss, which many of them did do. But what I wasn't banking on and what I overlooked was the fact that there was a significant amount of buying pressure that happened this week as well. So there was a lot of people that rushed in to buy these stocks that were beaten down, which makes sense because if you think about it, a lot of people, you know, they wait for the sales, right? So imagine Walmart, they have a Black Friday sale. Everyone shows up because they want to get stuff on sale. Same thing with the stock market. Everyone knew it was going to go on sale this week, so everyone showed up to buy the stocks. So whereas the stocks would have normally plummeted because everyone knew they were going to plummet, everyone showed up to buy them. So this actually increased the price of the stocks, which in turn drove up the entire stock market. And not only that, but Dr. Fauci, who's the lead of the coronavirus task force, he came out and said that, um, you know, the new Gilead drug has exceptional results and is a really good sign bringing us one step closer to the cure. So he announced that the night before the big dip on Tivix came. Now, if you don't know what Tivix is, it is an inverse ETN that tracks the inverse volatility of the S&P 500. Uh, so whenever the stock market or the S&P 500 goes up, Tivix goes down and vice versa. When the S&P goes down, Tivix goes up. So basically what happened was I bought the stock last Thursday on the 23rd and I planned originally on exiting on Friday the 24th. However, I got really busy that day as a single mom does and I ended up missing my exit point on Friday. So I could have got out of the stock on Friday for a profit of $350, but I didn't do that. I went ahead and held over the weekend thinking, you know, well, I've already missed my exit point, so I'll just cash out on Monday, right? No big deal. Or so I thought. And what happens Monday? The stock gaps down hard, like really hard. Because the stock market went up on Monday, so that caused Tivix to go down. And it gapped down in such a way that I couldn't have caught it in enough time. Like there was no catching it. It completely gapped down like as if it jumped off a cliff. And that happens a lot with stocks that are highly volatile. And you won't necessarily be able to see it happening because it will have either happened overnight or pre-market. So that was a problem. And you know, even if I would have had a stop loss, it probably wouldn't have saved me because stop losses, you know, they rely on the market price meeting their limit price so that they can execute the order. But if the stock price jumps, say 20 to 30% in one price move, it'll blow right past the stop loss order and it will never execute. So in hindsight, the first mistake I made was I should have cashed out on Friday, which I didn't do. And I should have been more vigilant about keeping my eye on the stock. So that was mistake number one. So remember to always be vigilant with your stocks. Don't just leave them there. And, you know, I know that as a swing trader, we tend to leave our stocks overnight with the intent of cashing out when they go back up. But you really can't do that in this volatile environment because things like this will happen. The stock will either gap up or gap down and then you'll lose big time. So anyway, getting back to the story. So Monday, I saw that the gap, the, the um, big gap down on the stock. And of course, I got really shocked, like I was shocked. And I thought, well, this has to come back up again, right? Because earnings are coming this week and there's going to be a lot of negative news coming out. But as I explained before, there were several other factors that I didn't take into consideration. So anyway, the stock continued to downtrend. And on Monday, it went down significantly. And I still could have gotten out of the stock at that point with a 20% hit to my account. But because of my shock and quite frankly, my own arrogance, I ended up digging in my heels further and vowing to ride out the stock in hopes that it would go back up again. And that's another thing, guys, like a lot of traders hope for a stock to go back up or they hope for a stock to go down. 
Again, you can't do that in this volatile environment right now. You've just got to go with whatever the stock is doing most recently. Like if it's downtrending on the day, like just for a day, just know that it's probably going to continue downtrending until you see signs of a reversal. So anyway, I was continuing to hemorrhage money and I ended up holding through Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, the 29th, I finally said, okay, that's it. I can't afford to lose anymore. So on Wednesday, I finally cashed out. But by that time, I'd already lost around 40% of the value of my position. And because I had bet with about 80% of my account, it ended up being a huge hit to my account and ended up losing $3,500. Yeah, ouch. I basically lost a whole month's worth of profits on one trade. Like I said, I've been doing extremely well lately, trading in the past two months and have been making so much money, but that one trade erased all of that. So guys, this goes without saying, please, please never bet with your whole account on one stock because if a trade does go against you, then the losses you receive are far less if you bet with a smaller position than a bigger one. And typically my principles are to only bet with $1,500 at once. So I completely disregarded my own rule about how much to bet with at a time and I lost big. And that just reinforces to me that I should have stuck to my guns. I should have stuck to only betting with $1,500. Had I have done that, I probably would have only lost $600 versus the $3,500 that I did lose. So that just shows you the difference right there. Now, looking back, am I upset that I lost the money? Yeah, of course I'm upset, but it's kind of a mix for me because whilst I'm upset that I lost the profits, the thing is I didn't lose any of my original value that I started trading with. So I didn't lose any of my own money, like my own hard earned money, but I did lose my hard earned profits, if that makes sense. So whilst I am like gutted, like in England we'll say gutted, that means that we're all out, we're down in the, in the dumps, like we're all out. You know, I didn't lose any of my own money, so that's a good thing. And looking on the bright side, it taught me that I need to stick to my principles, which are to only bet with a small portion of my account. And if a trade is going downwards or going against me, I just need to cut my losses and not like hope that it will go back the other way. So if you're watching this, um, just try to learn from my mistakes and, you know, try not to get ahead of yourself. Try not to get too overconfident as this really does have a negative effect on your trading as well. Like over trading that can lead to big losses over time as well. And when you've lost a certain amount on a stock, just go ahead and close it out. Like don't try to keep it in there, hoping that it will go back up because often it won't. So in closing, this has taught me a lot and I'm grateful for the lessons and I'm grateful that I didn't lose any more money because there's all sorts of horror stories that you hear about. Like, for example, I heard about this one girl on another trading channel. She had actually started out with $150,000 and she made a bet on a stock and she actually made a million dollars with that stock bet. But she completely lost all her profits in a month because she didn't have good, good risk management. And the trading coach was making a point that she didn't deserve to have made that much money because she was essentially just gambling. And even though she made a lot of money initially, uh, because she continued to trade with high risk, she ended up losing all of it. So in closing, stick to your risk management guys and don't bet with more than 1% of your account or at least have a limit, like a weekly limit to your trading account. Always have a stop loss or trailing stop loss because that will help you greatly as well. And when a stock is going against you, just cut your losses, take a step back and reevaluate your trade. And also don't rely on stock picks from other people, especially people with a large following because they could be promoting a stock for their own gain. And whenever you're into a stock, don't try to catch the entire move of where you think it's gonna go. Just take a chunk and keep going. So anyway, I hope this story time was educational for you guys. And if you found value in it or would even like to tell me about your trade story, then please leave a comment below because it's, it's important for us all to be transparent and help each other out, right? And, um, you know, I want you to take my example and ones alike and use that so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. And trust me, guys, all traders, especially new ones, make mistakes, costly mistakes. Like it happens. So don't feel stupid. And don't feel bad just because you've lost money. You know, we all want our stocks to make money. And, you know, our own bias tends to play a large role in how much risk we're willing to take. And unfortunately, this doesn't serve us. But, you know, we're all hoping for the best, especially in this environment where there's a lot of unemployment and economical hardships going on right now. We're all looking for other ways to make money, right? And the stock market offers a great way to do that from home. So don't feel bad if this happens to you. And, you know, if you do happen to lose money on a trade, just pick up your sticks and keep going. Change your strategy. Look at what you're doing wrong. Like tonight, I'm going to sit down, do all my technical analysis again. 
by hand and go through all my notes and reinforce my values and principles and set limits and whatnot. So again, I hope this was a value to you. And if you would like more content like this, um, we come out with new tutorials and hot stock picks each week. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. And with that, I will say, stay safe, people. Peace out.